Wonder Studios is one of the most intriguing AI video tools out there for me because it allows you to do motion capture without any fancy equipment. This illustrates the promise of the technology, but what if you don't have a $70,000 camera? I wanted to see how well Wonder Studios did with my iPhone 12 using their $19 light plan. The light plan only gives you 150 seconds of live capture generation. So including some pre-production tests and room for mistakes, I wanted to make a two minute movie where almost every scene contained visual effects. Plus, I wanted to use as many VFX characters as I could, which ended up being seven different robots. I enlisted my friend Steve Matson, an actor who wrote comics at DC, Marvel, and Dark Horse, and even modeled for a few covers. Plus, he just sort of looks like he should be in a futuristic movie. We shot scenes with busy forest backgrounds, clean city backgrounds, close-ups, wide shots, light changes, tripod shots, camera motion, which was done with one of these, and interactions that involved slight occlusions, which is a fancy word I learned that means overlaps. After editing the story, I knew I would need to get each scene down to the fewest number of seconds and frames possible, which ended up being one minute, 47 seconds. Let's start with the first scene. For this one, I'm not afraid to look ridiculous in public, so I put some orange tape on my shirt to help with the motion tracking. It's not necessary. I don't even know if it helps, but I wanted to try it anyway. So if you go to the Wonder Dynamics site, you click Create New Project, then choose Live Action Easy. Over here, you're gonna see, click here to browse files. Once your file uploads, drag the clip down to the timeline. All right, this part is fun. Move the cursor to a frame where you can clearly see the character and click Next up at the top and choose Scan Frame for Actors. That's gonna put a little box around everyone in the scene. Choose the actor you want to add the effect to, Click this little button to expand the character list, choose the character you want, and click Assign. Now you can see the little character's icon assigned to that actor. And if you're doing two characters in one scene where they're both VFX characters, then you would do the second one. Just follow the same steps for the second one, and then you can make sure that they're assigned correctly. All right, now it's the nerve wracking part because we're gonna render and start using up those seconds. So pay attention, because this next part is really important. The default will be 720p, so make sure you choose 1080p. You also want to toggle on all of these options for AI mocap, clean plate, blender scene, and USD if it's available. Sometimes you get this warning, so just untoggle USD if you see that. Um, if you don't, the render will fail. All right, now here's the important part. If you don't toggle these on now, you won't be able to get these without re-rendering everything all over again. And you might be thinking, eh, I probably won't even need those. But especially in the case of the blender scene, trust me, you want them. All right, once you click render, all of the rendering happens in the cloud. And the nice thing about that is that it's gonna take over an hour to render 10 seconds, uh, but it's not gonna slow down your computer. I even tried rendering multiple projects at once and it worked. All right, now let's see how it all turned out. All right, the first thing you'll notice is this halo of blurriness around the character where it erased the original person which is me. The more complex the background, the more pronounced that's going to be. Another thing to note is if you have a character who's going on or off the edge of the screen, you get some motion that wasn't in the motion capture. So frame the shot a little wide so you can crop. I had to do that for this shot. Lastly, those blender files I told you about, if you set up your scene right, you can get multiple visual effects characters in one scene. Um, I'll do a separate tutorial about that soon, but it helps you repurpose your captures. So using my iPhone and the lowest tier subscription that Wonder Dynamics offers, my friend and I were able to do live motion capture to create a two minute short film slash trailer using seven different robots. I'll be doing more Wonder Dynamics tutorials because I really like it a lot. So subscribe if you wanna see more and go watch the movie. It's really good, I think. So if you look in the description, um, you'll see a link to Mark and Mark 2 which is the movie we made with an iPhone and Wonder Dynamics.